Hi and welcome. In this GeoGebra tutorial, we're going to go over how to construct a rectangle. And I should tell you that I'm learning GeoGebra right now. It's exciting. I just wanted to record the things that I'm learning as I go through it. I'm going to be using an offline version of GeoGebra. You can get it right here by clicking download. There are lots of different options. If you just look down here, right, there are offline installers. And that's what I'm using right now. I'm using the Mac OS X version. So when you're setting things up, if you find that you don't have a tool that I'm using, remember that each of these have little tab marks where you can click them and scroll through other options, right, that, that relate to whatever I'm using in the video. But if you don't have those little tab marks there, just click the tools up here and you can scroll through whatever you need. You can even manage your toolbar, right, to add whatever tools you want up here. But we'll go to those in other videos. So the first thing we're going to do is create a line segment and to click two points A and B. And now I want to create a line that's perpendicular to AB. So this is my perpendicular tool right here. And what I do is I click my point. I want a perpendicular line through this point and perpendicular to this line. So then I click the line and it constructs the perpendicular line for me. How cool is that? Then what I need to do is set up a point somewhere on this line. It can go anywhere. Remember, this is a rectangle, so any length will be fine. So here, right, I have my move tool. So I'm going to click this next point over here, this next icon, to get the new point tool. So now I just scroll along. You see I'm highlighting the line. It gets bold when I scroll over it. And put a point somewhere. Now what I want to do is, right, I'm creating a rectangle. So I want to create a parallel line to AB. So go back to this tool up here with the perpendicular line and I click the parallel line tool and now I say alright I want a parallel line to this line right here and I want it to go through this point C. So now I set that line up and I'm almost done. My last step is to create a perpendicular line again but this time through point A. So I go back to this tool I tell it again that I want to create a perpendicular line through point A, right, and line AB, and it constructs the line. And now I just tell it to look at the intersection of those two objects, right? I can click both of them or hover towards the intersection point and it'll grab it for me. My last step is to create a polygon ABCD. So here's my polygon tool right here. I start with A and click around to create my rectangle so it can be moved right later on. So now I have my rectangle and it's a good idea to drag it around and see if everything moves with it. It's called the drag test and it's a pretty good guide. So now as, I sh as I'm going through these, I'm really just working through the intro PDF file that comes on the GeoDerber site, learning all of these different things. So I hope you enjoy. Thanks.